Solve all the solutions of this equation. x to the power 5 minus 1 is equal to 0. How should we solve it? Hmm. Certainly, the left hand side can be factorized. And the right hand side is 0, so don't worry. And how should we factorize the left hand side? Of course, we have a formula. Remember, x to the power of n minus 1, it can always be factorized where n is a positive integer. And the result of the factorizing of this formula is, you should memorize it, x minus 1 and then times x to the power of n minus 1 plus x to the power of n minus 2 plus x to the power of n minus 3 plus up to 1. So now the left hand side x to the power of 5, the minus 1. So in this case, 5 is n. So it is x minus 1. The formula which in the first bracket is always x minus 1. And what about the term in the second bracket? n is 5, so x to the power of n minus 1 is x to the power of 5 minus 1 is 4, x to the power of 4. Plus 5 minus 2 is 3, x to the power of 3. And then x squared, and then plus x plus the last one is 1. So now we have two cases. First, when x minus 1 is equal to 0. This guy equals 0, and x is just 1. Everyone knows that. So x1 is equal to 1. However, we have a second case as well. So. Our second case is when this guy equals zero. It is not so easy to deal with, is it? x to the power 4 plus x cubed plus x squared plus x, then plus 1 is zero. Because if we regard this exponent as 1 and this one as x to the power of 0. And you can find out that this exponent plus this exponent, the sum of these two exponents is 4 plus 0 is 4. And these two, 3 plus 1, is also 4. And what about x to the power of 2 in the middle of the term? Here comes a stunning idea. Divide the both sides by x squared, which in the middle of the term is the divisor, so it cannot be 0. That means x cannot be equal to 0. However, when x equals 0, then x to the power 5, the minus 1, is equal to minus 1, not 0. So x can never be 0. Hmm. It is very simple and easy to prove it. Now x to the power 4 divided by x squared. It is x squared. Everybody should know that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. Plus, x to the power of 3 divided by x squared. It is x. And x squared divided by itself is 1. And this, x to the power of 1 divided by x squared. It is 1 over x, and here is 1 over x squared. x squared, 1 over x squared, x, 1 over x, and here is a 1. So now, they should be together. x squared plus 1 divided by x squared, and then plus x and 
one of X. They also should be together. And then this one is just in here. Now these two sections are there any relationships between them? Here appears squared. So now we can square this term x plus 1 over x. The square root of this term is equal to a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab, then plus b squared. So x squared is x squared. And 1 over x squared, it is, since 1 squared is just 1, and x squared is x squared. And then plus 2 times the product of them. Since the product of them is just 1, so plus 2 times 1 is plus 2. This formula is very, very important. Changement. Since this guy, x squared then plus 1 over x squared plus 2, is x plus 1 over x all squared. So it can just be written as x plus 1 over x all squared. And here, plus 2, we can subtract it from the both sides, size, and then here should be minus 2. And then plus x plus 1 over x. It would be better when you write a bracket here. And then plus 1, don't forget, is equal to 0, since here is a 1. Now, x plus 1 over x all squared, and here appears x plus 1 over x again. So, substitution. We can substitute x plus 1 over x, let it be equal to t. And this equation becomes an equation about t. So t squared plus t minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1, is 0. So now we have just to work with this quadratic equation. There are also two cases when t is equal to the first root is by using the formula t is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac and then all over 2a. You can get the first root is t is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 and then all divided by 2. Since x plus 1 over x is equal to t, and t, in this case, it is equal to this. So x plus 1 over x is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5, all divided by 2. Multiply by x on the both sides, and x squared minus negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2x, then plus 1 is equal to 0. And by using the formula again, x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and then all divided by 2a. So you can get there aren't any places anymore. So I just show you the answer. And you can work it by yourself. So this is the first case. And the second case is when t is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 5 all divided by 2. x for 5 is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 5, and then plus or minus square root of 10 minus 2 times square root of 5, and then this number times i, all divided by 2. Five solutions in total, but just one real root. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!